Come spend the day with me at Hack UCD, which is the second largest 24 hour hackathon in the US and the largest in Texas. I'll be hanging out at the BenQ booth and asking students about their computer science journeys. Who am I here with today? Uh, Kennedy. I'm Micah. Hamad. Jacob Reeves. Chris. Chris Sharma. All right. So, Kennedy and Micah, what year of computer science are you guys in? I'm a senior. Both of us are seniors. There you go. Gotcha. What's your favorite programming language? Java, Python. It's really hard to say because there's a lot of good use cases. I think Python's my favorite just because of the versatility. I like meticulous coding, so C++ is my, <laughs> my go-to. <laughs> gotcha. When you're coding, what mode do you use, light mode or dark mode? You already know, dark mode, man. You see, I use a combination of the hybrid between light mode and dark mode. It's called yellow mode. <laughs> And my, I like to program in light mode because I like to see what I'm doing. Uh, you got to see the bank your monitor. What would you say your favorite feature about it is? I like the moon hill of light in the back. It makes like coding in dark light easier. It's the biggest like going in just the darkness. So it's changing your eyes. But the ambient light in the back really helps out with that. I'd say. Um, I think the the screen size is three by two um, because it gives enough space to see um, your code and the files. Um, but it also gives you enough space to see like uh, your terminal. So like whatever comes out whenever you're messing with your outputs and stuff like that. I think that's pretty cool. I say just like how easy it is to see the different fonts and coding and that like even with late night sessions it's like the best monitor to use while coding. I have a lot of issues in the past with monitors where they tend to have more of like a glossy finish and it's really hard to see if there's certain lighting conditions but having a flat like matte monitor like that it could be it's good for almost like any kind of like office environment. By far the coolest thing I think about this hardware is that the matte black texture that is placed on top of the screen provides so that there is no glare whatsoever. You could be in the lightest room but you wouldn't you'll be able to see it clearly as I'm clearly seeing it right now. I can see everything. There's no glare whatsoever. And there's lights above it too. That's the crazy part. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The anti-glare is like really, really good. Uh, and the last question is going to be, what are you looking to achieve with today's hackathon? I guess just building something impactful. I love to just do something that helps people. Learn something new and like get exposed to new things. I'm just excited to see all the challenges, like just meet all the sponsors. And it's always just like a good kind of like networking experience. I love building projects too, but I really love the more like social element of it. Uh, this is my first one, so I'm just here for the experience. Um, see if we can win something, honestly. Yeah. Well, this is my second hackathon with HackUTD. I'm just hoping to win something this time for sure. Awesome. Thanks for doing this. Who am I here with today? Oh, David Lee, right here from BenQ, product manager. Tyler. Uh, Ethan. Student. Uh, what is your favorite feature of the BenQ RD series? Uh, as a non-coder, but wanting to be one, um, I think what pops out most to me is the eye care functions. Awesome. What year of computer science or software engineering are you in? I'm a junior. I'm also a junior. Uh, I'm a senior in computer science. You got to see the BenQ monitor. What would you say your favorite feature of the monitor was as a programmer? Honestly, just the 3 by 2 aspect ratio is nice. I think I'm going to have to say the same. I mean, the, the extra um, vertical real estate is, is super helpful when programming. So. Yeah, most definitely. What is your favorite programming language? I think I'm going to get hated for this, but I might say JavaScript. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I might have to go Java. It's simple. It's, it's you know, everyone knows it. It's super good. Uh, with regards to the BenQ monitor, what is your favorite feature about it? Definitely the blue light filter. It's not like yellow, like all the software ones, and it's controllable. It's really nice, especially since I'm always programming at night, really late at night. Yeah, I imagine like you're probably trying to turn in that like Python assignment around like 11.58. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes at like you know 4 a.m. I'm like, it's not working. As a product manager, what is the feature that you use the most? Um, to me, I like the Moon Halo. Yeah. To a lot of people's surprise, that actually comes in handy because I do everything in a uh, semi-complete darkroom, anyways. Although I don't code, but you know that that helps me to be able to further reduce the front panel's brightness and contrast. Yeah. So that physical lighting in the back side of the screen it really helps, and also the entire vibe is just right to yeah. do any kind of work. Yeah.
Do you guys already get to like see uh, the features of the monitor? Yes. Yeah, we checked we, it out. We saw the backlight. Yeah. And we saw the different modes that helps you see your code better. Okay. And I think it's so helpful, actually. Like, I would personally use that yeah. um, as a computer science major. Gotcha. So, what times of the day typically do you typically code? Night. Yeah. yeah. So that that uh, night light would be very very helpful. It would it would be, and I think it would help uh, reduce the strain a lot too on my eyes. Yeah, most definitely. What about you? What times of the day do you typically yeah. code? Most of the time nights. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's really good for the nights because the light just, um, uh, just uh, I think enhance uh, our coding and also it's good for our eyes. Yeah. Yeah, because we're just staring at the monitor, so I think it would be really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. So, what year of computer science are you in, and what is your favorite programming language? Uh, my favorite program language is Java. And uh, I think it's good. Yeah. What else you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. What your uh, computer science program are you in? Oh, we're at UCD. Actually, I'm software engineering, oh, not okay. CS major. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm studying here at UCD. Nice, nice. Yeah. What about you? I'm a second year in computer science, and my favorite uh, programming language would be Java. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys for doing this, and I hope you have a great hackathon. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Uh, what year of computer science or software engineering are you in, and what's your favorite programming language so far? I'm a junior, and my favorite language is Java. Nice. Why Java? <laughs> Create Minecraft. <laughs> Go to game, you know? Go to game. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. What about you? What year of software engineering or computer science are you in, and what's your favorite programming language? I'm a sophomore, and my favorite programming language is Python. Nice, nice. A Python guy. Why, why Python for you? I think to me, like, um, it's it's easy to learn. Like, it's very straightforward. Yeah. And it's it's just easy to understand. Nice, nice. What also, you, in my opinion, it's like the most fun like using language. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Lots of use cases. Like, there are a lot of possibilities with Python. Yeah. Um, also, with regards to this hackathon, what are you both looking forward to? Winning. <laughs> you yeah. as well. I think learning a lot. More than winning, right? Yeah. Even if I, even if we don't like, I'd rather like learn how to do all this stuff and like have that experience. That's what's more important to me. But winning obviously comes with that. If you learn a lot, you're gonna get a good placement. Hopefully. You're definitely learning. Also, after seeing that fight, I gotta avenge Mike Tyson, man. Like, <laughs> if Mike Tyson didn't win, then we gotta win. We gotta win. Gotcha, gotcha. Then for the opening ceremony, the founder and former CEO of Funimation Entertainment gave a pretty good talk to the students. Overall, it was a pretty cool event. I think the students are gonna have a great time and build a really, really cool 